This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. Tired of ads interrupting your gripping investigations? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Ads shouldn't be the scariest thing about true crime. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free true crime to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. This podcast is brought to you by eHarmony. Finding someone who gets you is hard, right? You're not alone. That's because we're human. And there's a lot of different humans out there. Which is why eHarmony's personality-based dating app helps you find someone you can be your whole self with. Someone you can be fully comfortable with. That's what true connection and compatibility are all about. Being seen, heard, understood. When you match based on personality, you're already one step ahead when it comes to getting to know one another. So try eHarmony and get started today for free. eHarmony. Get who gets you. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's Friday. What a week it's been. What a week it's been. We had the vaccines as our album of the week. Record of the week was Jennifer Lopez. We've had lots of fun on 10 to the top. We're still yet to get a 65 this year, 2024. We'll find out if today is our lucky day. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Here we go. BBC Radio 2. 10 to the top. It's the last day of the week, it's Friday. Let's welcome Alice Harris from Sleaford in Lincolnshire to the studio. Welcome, Alice. Hello. Are you a big Take That fan? I am, yes. I've loved them since I was about 12, 13 years old. Oh, since the early 90s, let's say that. Yeah, definitely. Those were the glory days, weren't they? Back in the 90s, Take That. The 90s, Uh, Take That were great. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I do see them this year on tour, on the latest tour, and I've seen them quite a few times. Ah, very good. Very good. Which bit of the show is your favourite? The new stuff or the old stuff? A uh, bit of the old stuff. I love when they crack out the prey dance. That is my favourite yeah. bit. It is a classic. <laughs> Although, yeah. Could It Be Magic has got some pretty iconic moves. Oh, those moves are iconic. Me and my girlfriends do that every time we go out on a take that night out. We're always doing them moves. You stand in a line and shake your arms behind each other. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is that Could It Be Magic? Yeah, that's Could It Be Magic, yeah. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Woo, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yes. that's right, yeah. Sounds exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. You're a favourite of Strictly as well. Your oh, favourite yes. dance is the Argentine tango. I think yes. that's a favourite of many. It, it, it's so rousing. It's brilliant. And and Leighton and Nikita's one this year was just outstanding. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was. So, yeah. Yeah, it's the family. Yeah, the show's a family favourite for us. We we watch we watch it every week, and we've got a WhatsApp group between the family where we're punditing all the dances. <laughs> so yeah, it's a firm favourite of ours. Yeah, tell me about it. Keeps the eating on. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, on ten to the top, what do you usually score? Um, I tend to sc- well, I tend to get quite a few right. Um, I don't always get to double figures, so I'll be happy with about five or six correct answers. All right, OK, well, let's see how you do on the scoring because five or six correct answers could accumulate you a lot of points if you play your joker on the sixth question, which will double the six to a 12. But let's see how you fare. Are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Ten to the top on Radio 2. Complete the title of Blur's number one song from 1995. Country what? House. It is Country House. We have a point. We're up and running. Your next one is this. Space Oddity for two points. Spent a fortnight at number one in November 1975. For which music icon? Uh, David Bowie. This hip-hop party tune was a huge hit in the early 90s. You'll know the song, but who's performing it? I came to get down, I came to get down So get out your seat and jump around Jump around Jump around Jump around Jump up, jump up and get down Jump, 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 jump. Oh, I can't remember. I've danced with it so many times. I think, is it Run Down Sea? Not. 
No. Couldn't remember the name of it. I couldn't remember it. It's Jump Around by House of Pain. House of Pain. Oh, I'm going to be kicking myself later for that one. Yes, you mm. will. Anyway, doesn't matter. We've still got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. This one's worth a point. Which twin brothers said, let's get married on their top 40 hit in February 1994? Uh, Ross? It was the Proclaimers. Oh, OK. For a point, in what year did Coldplay reach number one with Paradise? 2007? Oh, it was a little bit later. It was 2012. OK. Right, three wrong answers. Come on, we need a run now. Yeah, we do. Complete the title of this Harry Styles hit from 2022. Music for a what? Um. Now nah, I lost me on that one. Music for a sushi restaurant. OK. For a point, Jim Steinman was the writer and producer of which 1983 number one single performed by Bonnie Tyler? Uh, I Need a Hero. Oh, no! It was Total Eclipse of the Heart. Oh. oh! For a point. Kermit the Frog's nephew, Robin, gave The Muppets a surprise top ten hit in 1977. But can you name that song? Yeah, it's a tricky question. I'm not on the phone with Robin the Frog's hits. <laughs> not many are. <laughs> it was halfway down the stairs. OK. We had a great start. We seem to have capitulated. Yes. Let's see if we can get at least six points here. Come on. Mm -hmm. Here's an American soul group who had their first ever UK top ten hit this week in 1978. With the tune you're about to hear, who are they? You're a native New Yorker. You should know the score by now. You're a native New Yorker. No, I haven't. Not, not sure that one. Sorry. Oh, it's Odyssey. Odyssey. For a point, but it's not for a point. It's your last question, so we're going to double it up and play a joker. <laughs> in 1987, the single No Memory was the only top 40 entry for the duo called Scarlet What? Dreams. It was Scarlet Fantastic. Scored three points. Um, I'm happy with the fact that I've got that, so yeah, definitely so. <laughs> yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again. We have had a winner with three. Cool. Yeah, well, that was a tough run. Uh, from the second question onwards, we scored no points, so that was that was quite difficult, quite a difficult run. Got it about that house of tape one, to be fair, so that was literally there, but I just couldn't reach it, so I was gutted about that one, but the rest I really wasn't sure of. Yeah, and once you get thrown into a tizzy, it's kind yeah. of difficult to, to reset yourself. But never yeah. mind, we have had a win with three. Let's see how we get on, because next up, it's Paul Asher from Grimsby, and he's going to be playing after this. The 90s was a decade packed with incredible... Incredible music from start to finish. It was full of showbiz stories. We were flying around so much that I'd have to wait until I got off the plane. Someone would speak to me and I'd know what country I was in. Sounds of the 90s. On Radio 2. Get your weekly fix of nostalgia. Available now on the BBC Sounds app. Well, that sounds all right, doesn't it? Oh, and did you know that if you hit subscribe, you get your favourite podcast downloaded straight onto your device? So do that now. I'll give you 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's crack on with 10 to the top. Here's contestant number two. BBC Radio 2. 10 to the top. 
Three is the score to beat. We have had a winner with three, <coughs> but let's see if Paul Asher from Grimsby, who's clearing his throat and getting ready to play, can beat that after we've asked him his run of ten questions on ten to the top. Hi, Paul. Welcome. Thank you, Bernie. Good morning to you. Yeah, everything good here. Uh, 24 years ago, you travelled the world backpacking for 12 months. I did indeed, yeah. I was. Um, I had some money. I was single, and uh, me and a best mate travelled around the world for 12 months and had a fabulous time of it. But, uh, yeah, amazing. Best thing I've ever done, Bernie. The correlation between no money and being in a relationship is hilarious there. That's what you've just emphasised for everyone, uh, Paul. <laughs> I was single, I was loaded. I'm no not and I'm skinned. <laughs> but just as happy, of course. But just as exactly, happy, of course. absolutely. We wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, you're a big cricket fan. You watched England play cricket in South Africa whilst you were on that backpacking trip. Did indeed, yeah, down in Cape Town. Um, it was the Christmas test. Um, it was amazing at Newlands. I um, don't know if you've been there, Vern, but amazing place, Cape Town. And spent the millennium there as well, yeah. So fond memories of the place. Lovely, very nice. In 2013, you did a 500-mile bike ride in Burundi for a, a Christian charity with 10 people. You raised 100 grand. That's amazing. 500 miles. Was that hard? Were you working afterwards? Um, well, you'll know from your recent endeavours, Vern, and the amazing work you did for children in need, um, how tough it is. But once you commit to it, you commit to it and you crack on. But the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life, the most amazing thing I've ever done in my life as well. Um, yeah, great memories. Uh, you said it was for a charity there, Paul. Uh, what did the charity do? Um, they basically look after orphans in Burundi. They build schools, hospitals, hotels even, and they basically all the money that comes in every year goes to the, um, to the kids, um, basically rebuilding their lives. Amazing yeah, charity. fabulous. Yeah, good for you, putting yourself through that for, uh, for those kids. Awesome stuff. All right, so you've got three to beat. That's what Alice scored. If you can do that, you get the smart speaker. If you can't, you'll get the coffee mug. But good luck. Are you ready? Indeed. All right, here we go. For a point, on their 1980 single, where did the jam say they were going? Underground. For two points, who was the lead singer of both The House Martins and The Beautiful South? Paul Heaton. Yes, well done. That's the right answer. Gets you two points. This one is worth three. It's your first clip. Believe it or not, it's exactly ten years since this song was number one and it spent five months inside the top ten. Who's the performer? Here come bad news, talking this and that. That's the amazing Pharrell Williams. It is. Oh, do you know what? That's given me a wobble. Ten years ago. Mm. I remember my mate saying, you've got to hear this Pharrell tune. It's really cool. Ten years ago. Yeah, scary stuff, Vern. It's the scary stuff. It goes quick, doesn't it, Paul? Does indeed, mate. Does indeed. Yeah. Uh, all right, for four points. What word went before top ranking on Althea and Donna's number one in the 70s? And before Girl on Billy Joel's number one in the 80s. Uptown. It was, bravo. For five points, in what year did The Weather Girls have a top three hit with It's Raining Men? I'm going to have a stab at 1988. 1984. Ooh. I know, 1984. All right, we tumble down the ladder. This one's worth a point. Still got your joker to play. We can still put together a decent score. Mind you, bear in mind, you've already got 10 points. So here we go. Under what name did rapper and producer Mike Skinner top the charts in 2004 with the song Dry Your Eyes? The Streets. Yes, it was The Streets. That's a brilliant tune. Dry your eyes, mate. Right, for two points. Who was Kylie Minogue's duet partner on the 1995 song Where the Wild Roses Grow? I think that was Nick Cave. It was Nick Cave, yes. We are steamrolling these questions. Joker, please, my friend. All right, we're going in for the Joker on three, which means it's worth six. Good man. (laughs) 
for six points. Name the soulful British group who asked the question, can you feel the force on their top five hit in 1979? Oh, I'm gonna have a go at Brothers Johnson. No! Oh, man! I thought you would have got that, Paul. It was the real thing. Ah, oh, never mind. Real thing. Ah, oh, no worries. All right, for a point, we've played your joker. It's your next clip. Happy birthday to Whitfield Crane. He's a singer and founder member of the American rock band who had this big song in 1992. But who are they? Yeah, Do you know what? That one's got me, Vern. I've not got a clue, mate, on that one. Sorry. It was Ugly Kid Joe. Ah, yes, of course. All right, this is your final question. Let's see if we can finish with another point. The songs I Want You For Myself, Bomb Diggy, Summertime and From The Heart all reached the top ten in 1999. 1999. For which R&B boy band? Boys to men. It was another level. You scored 13 points. Oh, I'm all right with that, Ben. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's good. It's 10 more than Alice, which means you win the smart speaker. Thank you very much, Ben. It was a Lincolnshire derby today as well, so I'm glad I came out on top of that one. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Fighting talk. All right, we like that. Uh, hey, Alice, do you know what? He pipes up now that he's won. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he does, yeah. Yeah, well done, Paul. You did really well there. Thank you, Alice. Commiserations, Alice. Uh, so I'm happy with the mug, really happy with the mug. Oh, good. Well, it's been a pleasure to speak to you both. Thank you very much for listening. We really appreciate it. And more importantly, thank you very much for playing. It's been a pleasure, Ben. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, thanks, Ben. Lovely to talk to you. So there you go. Congratulations to Paul Asher from Grimsby. He's the winner of today's Smart Speaker. And commiserations, obviously, to Alice. But you know what? She did take that one, so it doesn't matter. If you want to play, all you've got to do is get in touch via the email. 10 to the top at bbc.co.uk. And if you've got the WhatsApp, 08000 288 291. 10 to the top on Radio 2. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Tired of ads interrupting your gripping investigations? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Ads shouldn't be the scariest thing about true crime. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free true crime to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. Inflation, student debt, recession, mortgage rates. Your employees have a lot on their minds. Offer them financial well-being support from Vanguard Well on Your Way at institutional.vanguard.com. All investing is subject to risk. Advice provided by Vanguard Advisors, Inc., a registered investment advisor.